There's not many things that I hate more than going to the dentist. I literally despise it. Um, I don't look forward to it. And it's usually, I'm usually going not as maintenance and getting things like that, but it's usually when the problem comes up and I'm having this agonizing pain in my jaw and I finally go to the dentist. But even though I can't stand going to the dentist and I hate when they stab you in the gums with all those different instruments, usually when I leave the dentist with an issue, I walk out pain free. Sure, the, the pain uh, in going and even sometimes just like the nervousness of going, it, it's annoying, but I usually leave pain free or at least with a, with a bottle of uh, medicine to help me. Paul in 2 Corinthians uh, is talking to the church there. In the whole chapter 11, he is going through all the things that he went through, you know, getting shipwrecked and getting beaten and all these different things. And then in chapter 12, he continues it and he says this, uh, in verse number seven and eight, he talks about this thorn in the flesh, this messenger of Satan that was sent to buffet him, to, to kind of attack him, to really just annoy him and bother him. And he says three times he asked God to take it away. And what did Jesus say to him? Look what it says in verse number, verse number nine of 2 Corinthians 12. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And then Paul says, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. Why? That the power of Christ may rest upon me. Some of you are facing something right now, going through something, you got a problem in your life, an issue at work, with your family, whatever it may be. And what you need to do, instead of getting so upset about it, realize that sometimes the grace of God is painful. That's a weird thing to think about. Painful grace. God in His love, He loves you so stinking much that He will allow you to go through trials and will allow you to face challenges, not to annoy you, not to bother you, not to mess you up, but to grow you. The grace of God is that sometimes, it's sometimes painful, but it's there to make you more like Christ. The fellowship of the sufferings of Jesus. Don't get upset at the grace of God. Sometimes it hurts, but it's there to make you more like Him.